Hello everyone, this is our pre-recorded video presentation for project ID course profile website. Our project identifier is GC444. I am Manikanta Urganti and we are, in, we are recording this meeting for the presentation. And our teammates are Arvind Alanki and Jambal Prithiwari, Siddhartha Pata and Yeravara Mishri in the call. Uh, this is our DB schema that we chose. Uh, so we have IT courses, coordinator, IT resources, and ALG info. So in the IT courses, we got the course number and prefix for the course and course name, course prerequisites and credit hours, and description for the course and course schedule, and the memo for the course. And then the coordinator, we got all the coordinator details regarding first name of the coordinator, last name, and email address, and detail master ring. And in the resources, we got the course number, learning outcomes and our express link for the course and catalog link and syllabus and offering history and in the ALG info we got the ALG history ALG developer and when is the feature round and feature developers and we used uh, we built our project on the AWS infrastructure so this is a simple architecture of how our project is built using AWS and we ingested our data into the Dynamo DB with the using Postman. So this is a sample snapshot of uh, the Postman collection file. And this is the this the this is the file after we import in the Postman. It just shows how we just need to like change um, the information in this body and just send it to the send it to the Dynamo DB, and it will be reflected in the Dynamo DB. So over here we got a dynamic GB showing showing us all the info from the DB. So this is the ALG table that shows ALG developer and ALG eligibility course number, history round developers, and latest ALG round and future developers. And this is the course coordinator table, which consists of course number, detail master link, email, first name, and last name of the coordinators. And there's the partner schedule for the courses. Uh, and this just showcases the course number and course prefix. And fall event, fall or spring event, spring or and summer. So this is the IT courses. Here we got IT course number, course schedule, create our description and memo for these courses. And this is our backend APIs. We have a uh, 17 APIs to fetch all the data from the DB to the front end. And this is all running serverless using AWS Lambda. This uh, snapshot shows how AWS Lambda is connected to the API gateway to do all the API functions. And this is the API gateway console. Here we can see how uh, a method gets executed so the client uh, sends a request to retrieve data and that goes to the lambda function and lambda gives response and that response is reflected to the client so this is our, our apis work with the front end and the back end through lambda so this is our front end development this website so we divide our website into like five different categories from the universe uh, from the university the divisions so we got required major courses and data analytics and technology, cyber security operations, enterprise system and technology and innovation. And if we click uh if we click on the any of those cards displayed, we'll have like all the courses displayed in that category. So we got some examples how our courses will look like. And if we click on the arrow button on any of the courses, we could see uh, more info regarding the courses with the course resources offering history course coordinator information and the ALG info so these are all like the outcomes offering history and in the header we got home page courses and resources ALG coordinators and button schedule so in this we got all our courses listed ascending ascending order and the description and the credit hours for each course and in the resources, we got the course number and course catalog link and what are the learning outcomes for these courses. 
and in the ALG we got course number, developer name, ALG and history of the ALG. And in the coordinators we got the first name and last name combined, the name, category and email and the master link. And this appointment schedule, so this uh, in this page we can see all the appointment schedules for all courses. So the learnings and opportunities from this uh, capstone project. So prior to prior to doing the capstone project, we had like no experience regarding AWS. So we had limited to no experience with AWS. So this gave us this gave us the opportunity to learn more about the AWS and its functionalities and how to use it in our future experiences. So what we have learned as a team, we lack some initial expertise in like a lot of areas regarding this project, but we have continuously learned it and adapted ourselves to to be able, uh, to better contribute to the project. And so we are working to more enhance our front end before the C day and. So these are all the memorable contributions. Thank you.